Rubbing my Vaseline Intensive Care Cochorium Buddy Oil. Hi guys, I look so scary. It's me and Rebecca. Crazy idea of mine talking to herself on camera. Danny! Danny! Daniel! I want to add to my book. Say hi. Say hi. 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 Did you just wake up? You just. Wow. Is anybody watching The Perfect Match on Netflix? Oh my days. When I started that show, right, I was just like, mm, another reality TV show. Let me just see. I started it. I feel like the most annoying person currently on that show for me has to be. This my shark crap is so funny but like i feel like it has to be francesca like she's actually a villain i don't care what anybody has to say it's not bad enough that she broke dom's heart like she left him someone she had been with from like the very first day and i feel like obviously if you're watching it maybe you, you'll be able to tell that like you know the guy likes her or the guy was more invested in their relationship more than she was or maybe because like she just didn't see any herself with any other person in the house so she was like comfortable and i feel like she led him on to an extent because what's the point of fighting savannah when she wanted to like get to know him and everything like that when you knew that you had plans of leaving him if somebody else that you thought was better or you were interested in exploring things with comes into the house like make it make sense to me like that was just a little somehow for me and the guy was not crying on tv like oh, i felt so bad for him i was one of those things where everybody would not be like oh like the grown man crying on national tv because of a woman like me I'm, i can't fault him because that's the type of person he is and he told us like he already told us that like he wears his hat on his sleeve and you know guys like that like they just bury themselves into like how they feel about someone and they don't really care about the consequences so like i definitely saw it coming but she's not also trying so bad to get him out of the house if you cared about him at all from like the very beginning you'd be happy that you know he's still around and maybe exploring things with other people wouldn't you but this babe is doing everything within her power to make sure that you know he leaves the house your situation don wouldn't be in the house right now actually just shut up felix shut up anyways guys nene is coming home soon i reached out to the party perps abuja and i got like um a banner and a balloon um that says welcome home baby nathan and it's like we wanted it in um, the colors brown green and white i think those were like where all these baby shower co colors as well so we wanted them in that same color just something cute you know so that baby nathan can be like oh my god i have the cutest aunties ever i sent the lady a message earlier and like she had to confirm that they had like the olive um balloon so she got back to me this evening and I made the pain wax and yeah, it's just something cute, you know, to welcome our baby back. I took out my feeding braids last night actually, I, like I'm never doing those braids again. But like, yeah, my hair has a lot of gel in it and it's just a mess. And I lost some hair, some of my edges because of the feeding braids as well. I'm actually going to lunch, brunch. I'm going to Cafe de Manche. Cafe de Manche, please sponsor me. Sponsor me because I'm your biggest customer, JQ. I've been there a couple of times. And truth is, I just keep going back because I like their food. By the way, I got my nails done. They're so cute. 
Hi guys, so today is, I don't know what today is, anyways, yesterday I relaxed and I did a treatment on my natural hair. So, yeah, today I'm going to pick up the banner and the balloon for baby Nathan. Nathan is coming back tomorrow. And then after I do that, I'm going to go, go get my lashes done. Hello. my shower cap now because I don't want water to get my weed. It annoys me when that happens so I'm trying to avoid that like seriously. I know I feel like I've said on this channel that I've been suffering from like really bad dry skin and crazily enough I've had this cream that I, I've just had it for a while now. I bought this I don't know when I bought it but I've had it for a while and it's just been in my sash. So I was just like, you know what, let me even try it and I put on my skin and it's super duper moisturizing. I feel like that could be my only saving grace right now. I feel like that could actually save me. But like, let's see. I'm going to show you the cream. Once I'm done with like, picking up my makeup and washing my face, I'll show you what cream I'm going on about. I already spilled water on the floor in there, but I don't want to get any more water on the floor. Um, yeah. <sighs> the cream I was referring to is from this brand called Le Labo. I've had it for a while and I remember I got it because of my dry skin. I felt like it was going to like be really moisturizing. As you guys know, if it helps my dry skin, you know, this is my first day of using it. So I'll see at least for like a whole week and then I'll let you guys know if it's helping or not. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I think I'm going to put a pimple sticker because I have a pimple under here. That's not private. I've been creamy sushi, so I feel like I might go out tomorrow. I'll get dressed. I'll go out tomorrow to like go and get some sushi. Go eat some sushi with my sister. By the way, this is this looks like pee. This is actually vitamin C. Hi! Hey! And Odi are going out to go get sushi. I've been craving sushi for like the past week now, and I know the last place I had sushi in wasn't that great. I had sushi in four guys, and I wasn't impressed. So we found this place called Sushi Box on Instagram. So yeah, that's what we're going to. We're going to try it out. I'm wearing this pink dress from Zara. I have like silver jewelry on, so I'm carrying my bag, my silver bag, from mango. You can see I have my bendy rollers on. This is my first time using bendy rollers on my weave because I've used them on braids like to curl like the ends of my braids. But yeah, this is my first time using it on my weave. And I'm going out at like seven ish eight. I'm going for a karaoke thing. So let's see how these bendy rollers actually work. Let's see if they actually do what they're supposed to do. Shout out to Ifna. She's the one who put me on the song and I'm so obsessed. Um, I was on the phone for a while and then I filled out those phone for my driver's license. I've been driving myself around for a while. So, and I had my, my learner's permit expired months ago and when it expires, they advise you to fill in the form so you can get your driver's license and I haven't, I have, like, you know, I've just been procrastinating. So I finally filled it in.
appreciate the results of these veggie rollers. Like it's actually crazy that it looks this good. The, like I knew veggie rollers work of course, but at the same time, wow. It's hot in this country, so I know this curl are not going to hold, but for now, I really love, I love how it came out, you guys. That's actually so crazy. I, I thought I was going to comb the curls out, but I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. They look perfect just the way they are, honestly. <laughs> Hi guys. I have no picture of this vlogging camera in days. In days. Now I feel like it's time to be a lot more consistent and I'm really like praying and hoping to God that I can be because it's not the easiest thing to be like super consistent on YouTube coming up with like YouTube ideas that like especially me I always feel like I'm always like in my head about oh are people going to watch this are people going to be interested in what I have to say like I'm always in my head about like stuff like this and like I don't know I just feel like I need to do better when it comes to like I just need to like put out what I like and what I know that I would love to see on YouTube and just trust that like you know the people who want to watch it or the people who enjoy the type of things that I enjoy you know will find me do you get like I don't want to put out things for, for validation I don't want to put out things just so that oh like you know I want people to watch this I, want to, I don't want to put out what I don't like just to, like please you know the audience i don't want to attract the wrong audience as well because it's like if i'm putting out so much of what is not really me and i don't like is i feel like i'll be attracting the wrong people and it'll be harder to maintain and as opposed to putting out what i actually like it doesn't feel like a chore because this is what i actually like putting out you get and i found like my people i'm growing and i'm exploring a lot of things I have some good days and I have some really bad days. One day at a time, honestly, like, I just have a lot of faith in God and I trust Him. I'm not trying to like fear anything or be scared. Whatever it is that like just makes me happy, I just want to keep keep at it. I just want to keep at it. That felt really deep. That that actually felt really deep. I really heavy, but anyways, guys, just have some errands to run for my mom. Like it's nothing crazy nothing crazy so i will most likely just talk to you guys when i'm back or yeah when i'm back <laughs> yeah this video gets my head done it's actually nothing new this is like not less braids i i usually get i always get not less braids and i use darling hair extensions the ones that are curly i started my hair at like one and i've just finished i finished at nine ever since i started using darling like it's been so hard for me to like say okay like let me use expressions i always prefer to use darling but, like i don't think i've showed you guys my nails by e nails always Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. And this was less than that. Why are you trying to hide? Is this not your good side? This side is actually nice. Even in this one, it's pretty nice. Yes, yes. yes. Hi guys, I'm currently 12 08. Getting ready because I'm meant to be meeting up with Emily. I'm going to have lunch at this place called the Brunch Club. I've been there before and I really liked it. I was so obsessed with like the chicken alfredo that that is what I'm even going back for. I'm going to pack this hair. It's pretty too important. My nail broke this morning, which is very annoying because I just had my nails done yesterday. I hate when that happens. So like I tried not to allow it annoying me. I want to have enough time to be able to stop by like the nail salon to fix my nails before I head to where i'm going to i don't think i like this top as much i don't know how many times i want this bad dress okay i think yeah i'm just trying like a hoop so you guys can see 
and then I'll be back. I wore some hoops and I feel like the hoops are definitely better. I'm showing my skin today. Showing hands. I'm putting some more. Oh, I think at one point I was telling you guys about this body oil that I recently got. And I, I think I told you guys I don't think my body reacted well to it. So I think maybe I was just over exaggerating because now I use it and I really like it. The thing that threw me off at first that I thought that maybe my body would react to was the fact that it was like fragrant. Like, well, maybe it was just in my head. Not maybe. It was just in my head. The next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to put in some of this because I'm not wearing makeup today, so I have my skin to glue. Oily, they just look glue. So my skin is really oily on its own. So, yeah. And then, last thing is some perfume. I'm going to be using my Eben Fume. So, I'm going to do it. And I'll just use this perfume oil that I've had for a while. bag is fine but at the same time oh, should i change it i'm carrying my coach tiny bag okay guys don't worry my watch has been about to die so i have to switch on my battery so first stop is the nail store the nail shop to fix my nails that i broke this morning and then i'll be on my way Shut 